Chris with RC Worst here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the AY McDonald 1500 series multi stage jet pumps. These are an excellent pump for residential shallow well configurations, including cistern and transfer pump applications. Additionally, this pump is well suited for irrigation and residential lake water systems. The 1500 series multi stage jet pumps come with a standard one and a quarter inch suction and a one inch discharge. The 1500 series is available in either a dynamically balanced bronze or an engineered thermoplastic impeller, which provides versatility of the installation. The balanced bronze impeller is extremely resistant to corrosion, abrasives, as well as the natural degradation that happens throughout an impeller's life. Although a bronze impeller costs a bit more, you can certainly expect a longer life out of it. The engineered thermoplastic impeller, however, is also quite resistant and requires less energy to rotate because it's such a lightweight material. It is also significantly less expensive than the bronze impeller option, so it's going to be suitable for most applications. The plastic impeller or thermoplastic impeller is signified by a P in the model number when ordering. Now the diffuser on this pump is a precision machined cast iron diffuser for the greatest possible efficiency of this particular pump. The body of this pump as well as the motor mount are consisting of a lead free cast iron construction. Lead free of course indicates that any of the wetted surfaces of this pump contain less than a quarter of 1% lead. The cast iron construction on this pump means that it has an inherent ability to resist subscale and oxidation, such as rust and corrosion, and that's due to the relatively high silicon content of cast iron. In addition to the pump's natural ability to resist corrosion, a robust paint is applied that holds up to the typical wear and tear associated with the indoor or outdoor installation of these pumps. It is notable that prolonged outdoor exposure or direct exposure to the elements is not recommended for this particular pump. With this particular pump, the motor specifically can only operate in a limited range of temperatures. This particular motor up to 104 degrees. Now if it were to overheat, a thermal overload will bring the motor offline to prevent damage and it will allow the motor to turn back on once it's sufficiently cooled. Some extra care may be required in some areas as 104 degrees may not be very hard to come by. Another thing to make sure that you avoid with these pumps is freezing temperatures or sub-freezing temperatures which can cause damage if the pump has not been winterized or is not completely empty or drained. We also have a video on how to winterize a jet pump which we're going to put a link in the description below for you to take a look at. Now the multi-stage design of these jet pumps differs from your typical single stage shallow well jet pumps in that they contain more than one stage, hence multi-stage. What that means is this pump has in it an extra impeller and diffuser and they operate in parallel to allow the pump to produce much higher pressures than a single stage jet pump. Interestingly enough, adding stages to a pump does not increase its flow capacity, it only increases the pressure that it's able to produce. Because of this, this pump is offered with an automatic diaphragm type regulating valve this valve is positive acting, non-chattering for easier pump priming. It assures maximum performance at varying water levels. It is intended for deep well only. The SW models or shallow well variants do not come with this valve. The 1500 series comes standard with a maximum suction lift of 25 feet. However, with the addition of a deep well ejector kit, these pumps can lift an astonishing 160 feet. This is accomplished by installing a jet ejector down the well piping. For more information on convertible jet pumps, check out the link below. We've done a video for that as well. Deep well ejectors will need to be carefully matched to the pump model and well depth that you're intending to use them on. If there's any questions or concern, please reach out to our customer service team. We're standing by to take your emails or phone calls. In a shallow well, 
of course defined as 25 feet or less, the 1500 series are capable of producing up to 102 psi with the addition of a shallow well ejector and 76 psi without. The maximum flow with the jet is 17 gallons per minute and 42 gallons per minute without. Typically, the shallow well jet is used in applications where you need to achieve a higher head pressure and don't mind sacrificing a little bit of flow. If you're a little hazy on the details of pump head, we've prepared a video. You can find that in the description below. The adjustable pressure switch on this pump has been factory set to 3050 PSI, and that is standard on all 1500 series pumps. If you have any questions on adjusting the pressure switch, we've done a video on that. Check in the description below. Additionally, the motors on these pumps are only available in a single phase configuration in an open drip proof design and they run at a constant 3500 RPMs. The motors are a dual voltage type motor, meaning that can, it can be operated at 115 or 230 volt. This particular model comes standard in a 230 volt configuration and can be quickly and easily adjusted in the field by simply flipping a switch on the back. The motor on this pump comes with ball bearings and standard three quarter inch carbon ceramic rotating mechanical seal. The majority of the components on this pump can be replaced, which allows you to get the most out of your investment. As with every AY McDonald jet pump, these are assembled in the USA and tested prior to leaving the factory. This is a hard working pump that will last for many years if sized correctly. If you ever need assistance in sizing a pump, please check out the other videos on our channel. Additionally, if you have other questions, you can reach out to our customer service department where we're standing by to answer them. To learn more about this pump specifically or to review the specifications or installation guide, be sure to check out our website, rcworse.com. If you have any questions on what we covered today, leave those in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you.